Hey guys, it's Daniel. The following is a quote from Nevermind producer Butch Vig, where he discusses the recording process for In Bloom. It should be noted that this quote pertains to the first time Nirvana recorded In Bloom while Chad Channing was still in the band. From April 2nd to 6th, 1990, Nirvana recorded eight songs with Butch Vig, including an early version of In Bloom at a studio in Madison, Wisconsin. These recordings with Butch Vig in 1990 were originally meant to be released for Nirvana's second studio record with Sub Pop. But instead, Nirvana ended up using those recordings to attract further major label attention. The band, of course, eventually signed with DGC and re-recorded In Bloom with Dave Grohl on the drums in the spring of 1991. Here's the Butch Vig quote on the original 1990 recording session with Chad Channing. Quote, In Bloom. That was the track I focused on the most. I think, out of all the songs. It sounded to me like a single. That's probably the song that we did the most takes of, probably not more than four or five, but I think it took a bunch of takes to get a good master. That was a little bit harder for Kurt to get the vocals on. We went back and overdubbed just the guitar on that because I was like, we can make this sound better. Now, we'd do a take and Kurt would say, no, I don't like that feel that you're doing there, Chad. You gotta hit it harder in that section. I remember several times Kurt actually got over on the drums and tried to show him, but Kurt was not a good drummer. He was trying to show Chad more as a feel, trying to figure out what he wanted for that section. In Bloom was one of the songs where he got behind the kit and was trying to show Chad a drum fill. The arrangement on that section of the song is different from what Dave played. I think Kurt felt like they were struggling to get it to sound super tight and powerful. End quote. The following is a quote from Chad Channing regarding his thoughts on Dave Grohl and Nevermind. In this quote, Chad Channing reflects on In Bloom and more. Quote, I remember the very first time I heard Nevermind before it came out. Ben Shepard had come home from one of his tours, and he said, Man, I got a tape of their new album. Check this out. It's pretty cool. And I remember being really excited to hear it, and the first time I heard it, I was thinking, Man, that is really cool. And Ben's like, Yeah, it's totally cool. But I had to scold them first for kicking you out. And I just looked at him and smiled because he didn't know the full thing of it anyway. The breakup was amicable. Ben and I listened to the tape and it was like, man, this is totally cool. I was totally into it. I was like, wow, this rocks and made a copy of it. And I knew right then for sure that album was going to do really well. There were a couple of things Dave threw in on Nevermind with the drums to make it more Dave. Like during the main melody of In Bloom, he threw in an extra kick. But aside from the fact that it was totally polished, it was pretty much the same song which I thought was a cool compliment from Dave, playing the drum parts that I had put down. I was actually kind of shocked when I heard it. I was like, wow, these are not too far off at all. They're almost identical to the Madison ones. 